What's going on? I'm Damian and today I'm going back to Mistakes Beginner Artists Make Part 3. Now before that, please make sure that you like, subscribe, comment and click that notification bell so you can stay up to date to my up and coming videos. Let's go! Let's get right into it. So mistake number three that I see is beginner artists use black too much in shadow areas. So uh, what I mean by that, see, you look at this example of, of an apple. Um, so the, the way camera works, it, it shows you, you know, like, like a black color and it's not even 100% black. But when you paint, it does not translate right. <clears throat> so let me give you an example. Uh, the camera isn't as good as your eye is, so. And let me show you what I mean. So I'm painting a an apple. You're gonna see how flat uh, the painting looks uh, once you introduce black color as a shadow. Now what you end up getting is uh, this muddy look, the the muddy color. See how how um, muddy it is especially on on skin I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that in a little bit so how you can fix this problem is you actually introduce darker colors so now instead of using the black what you're gonna do is just use darker version of the red as a shadow which automatically makes your painting look better it makes it pop out more you can do red, you can add, introduce a little bit of blue. You see how muddy this looks compared to this. This automatically pops up. So in the future, you know, do not use black for your shadows, even though you see the shadows right here. Oh yes, let's let's talk about the skin. Um, here's the skin. For example, you look at here, what are you looking and you automatically assume, well, this shadow is black. It's color black, but actually it's purplish. When trying to paint a human skin or form, uh, that's when it starts looking really flat because they introduce black color. A lot of beginners use this because they perceive shadow as black, right? Instead, you see, instead of this, you should go darker pink, purple, red, etc. There you have it, guys. And if this was useful and helpful to you in any way, shape, or form, please like, comment, subscribe, and press that button so you can get notified of my future videos. Thank you for watching. Till the next time.